Welcome back to Blacks in Motion. And like I said before the break, we're going to talk a little football, specifically at the cornerback position. Look, this is a high profile position. When you're considered a shutdown corner, you are very valuable to your team. So usually if you're a shutdown corner, you might be the highest paid cornerback in the league. And recently the highest paid player at that position is Richard Sherman with his new contract. Now we all know Richard Sherman, all his outbursts. He's very, you know, spoken out in the media. And yes, he backs it up on the field. But somebody else in the NFL has something to say about it. One Patrick Peterson who plays for the Arizona Cardinals. He also could be considered a top-notch, top-flight cornerback. But is he a shutdown cornerback? A lot of people would say yes. But his response to Sherman becoming the highest paid cornerback was, hey, look, this guy plays in a specific scheme, cover three, which is overall easier, and he never really has to guard the other team's best wide receiver. And that's just straight up. He said, other like myself, Patrick Peterson talking, hey, I'm always covering the other team's best guy, and I have stats that's just as comparable, and I deserve that amount of money. Now, the only problem is, hey, Patrick Peterson got a couple more years left on his rookie contract, so it really doesn't even matter. That's a dispute between him and his team. But the question is, who's a better cornerback? So what we're going to do right here, we're going to do a little thing called Cliff's Comparison. I'm going to take three areas, athleticism, coverage and execution slash overall impact and I'm gonna compare these two guys so starting off with athleticism just flat out get on the field running jumping strength I'm gonna have to give the advantage to Patrick Peterson this guy is a physical phenom he's really built like a safety almost like a baby linebacker but he plays cornerback great speed great strength and he really is a great athlete and that's the type of person that you want to have at cornerback now going over the coverage well, yeah, he is kind of like a shut down corner, but he doesn't have as many interceptions and as many pass breakups as Richard Sherman. So I'm going to lean towards Sherman on this one. Look, he is the new type of cornerback, I would say, for the league. He's tall. He's fast. He has a wide wingspan. More, mainly, he would probably be a wide receiver 15 years ago, but now he's a cornerback. And the last area, execution and impact. Well, if you take your stats... You take some of your personality, and then you look at the wins and what your team has done. Yep, I'm going to have to give the edge to Richard Sherman. Look, this guy, he does get interceptions. He does get pass breakups, regardless who it is that he's covering. Yeah, he might not always have the difficult assignment, but he does run his specific scheme almost to perfection down there in Seattle. So check it out. Two to one, I'm going to lean towards who? Richard Sherman. Right now, right now, he is the best cornerback in the league, in the NFL right now, and he deserves every penny of his money because, yes, with his big mouth, he makes big plays. And they won a Super Bowl up there in Seattle, and they're probably going to be the best team in the NFL come next season. Now, you may think, Cliff, you don't know what you're talking about. Richard Sherman, maybe there's a different guy who's a top cornerback in the league and who should be making that type of money. Maybe you don't agree with Michael Jordan being number one, you know, flu game, injured player to come back and make an impact, whatever it is. Let me know. I want to hear from you. Hit me up in my email, cliff at blackvideonews.com. And as always, stay logged on and love us right here at Blacks in Motion.